How y'all doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Give me just a sense of how that practice was, I guess, physicality-wise, energy-wise. I felt like it was real physical. You feel me? I feel like defense uh, took another step forward today. You feel me? Uh, every day we work on to get better. You feel me? What are some of the things that you personally are working on to get better? Uh, my tackling. I knew that was one thing I needed to work on coming out of college, so I felt like every day I've been taking a lot of emphasis on the tackling drills. Obviously, yeah. that's actually one of the areas where you have, have seen to kind of stand out so far. What has you know, come out helped you to that success? Um, the coaches and my teammates, you feel me? Um, it's not only me driving myself, but it's also them. So I'm thankful for them. Um, every day I come out, um, I just, I just, I just, I tell myself like this is, um, this is something you told yourself that's your weakness, and you want to make your weaknesses your strengths. So I want to be the best player out there. So work on my tackling. It seemed like the uh, defense had a lot of energy and pop tonight. Did you guys appreciate kind of the change in schedule? Dan said he used to like practicing at night as a player. Did you appreciate that? And tell me how it changed for you guys, if that at all. Um, to be honest, it ain't no time of the day where I feel like we won't go. We won't go out there and ball. You feel me? I feel like every time defense steps on the field, um, that's a chance for us to shine. So we want to be on the field every time. So one o'clock in the morning, six o'clock at night, it don't matter. You feel me? Like we want to be out there. You play a lot of snaps in the preseason. How valuable have those snaps been for you? Oh, very valuable. I feel like experience is everything. So the fact that I was out there for the whole game, I feel like that was amazing. Um, I feel like my, the coaches trust me enough for me to be out there, be alongside my teammates, and be out there and ball with my teammates. Aubrey told us, you know, you're you brought in as a project, but you're kind of advancing faster than, than maybe they expected to. Do you feel like you're kind of decorating quicker than maybe even you thought? Oh, no. I feel like I feel like I feel like I came in. I wanted to learn. I'm always willing to learn. So I knew I was gonna be um, up to speed. You feel me? Because um, I come in every day. I take notes. I want to get better. You feel me? I'm not, I don't want to be, you know, average. I want to be, you feel me? Like the best. So I want to come in and give him my all every single day. Do you feel like you gained from playing the entire preseason game, kind of getting in the flow of action as opposed to getting in the flow of action? So, was what do you feel like you gained by being able to, to play that full game and get into the flow of everything instead of just you know, playing a quarter or something like that? Oh, I feel like I gained um, a lot of experience um, because, like I said, experience is everything, and I felt like I gained a lot of trust because, um, like like we said, it's a safety-driven defense. So being back there, being able to communicate with everybody so everybody getting used to my voice is one big thing. I feel like, you know, you got to be able to trust the partner. I mean, your teammate that's next to you. I learned everything. Um, those guys are amazing. You feel me? Um, shout out to them. They took me in as one of their own. You feel me? They're, te they're teaching me the game, um, not only on the field, but off the field, taking care of business um, and how to be a pro. You feel me? Like times to come in, how to take care of my body and stuff like that. And also studying the playbook. Um, I feel like I feel like one thing that improved was um, finding my points. You feel me? Like when you come in and attack, you got to chase a hip. You got to be near foot, near hip. So working on that with the tackling drills um, in the morning pre-practice or even uh, by myself, I feel like that's one thing that really helped me. And just listening to the coaching points uh, that AB, I mean AG and AP are telling me. Pretty much all of your, your reps out there are coming with Juju by your side. So, you know, what's, what's that chemistry been like, and, and what do you think about his game? All right, I'm a dog, Juju, man. We, you know, we out there. Uh, uh, like I said, like you got to be able to trust your teammates, you feel me? And I feel like I trust everybody in that room. So it's just amazing to be out there, period. Um, Juju is a great person. Um, just like I said, Tracy and uh, Tracy and Deshaun helped me out. Juju also does help me out, too. Does he have kind of like, I know he's got a history kind of with the Rams. They have to run kind of similar schemes. So do you feel like he kind of knows the system maybe, like he's maybe a couple years in? Yeah, yeah, I feel like uh, Juju knows what he's talking about when he uh, gives me tips and pointers, um, help me ID, ID different concepts when we get different formations and stuff like that. So, yeah. How would you describe your relationship with AG and AP? I feel like, I feel like, I feel like they're not so much of a coach to me, but also a mentor. In what ways? Um, how to be a pro, how to take care of business on and off the field and just how to learn, you feel me? Like I came in, I didn't know nothing. Um, they taught me how to take notes. They taught me how to use a bucket, how to categorize different coverages and stuff like that. So I feel like, yeah. Okay.
that yep. that felt like a pretty energized and physical practice. I mean, how do you rank it among other kind of practices you guys have had this summer? Yeah, I definitely say it was one of the more physical and uh, strenuous practices, but we needed it and we got some good work in today. When you talk about the work of the offensive line, I mean, you guys had a ton of reps in the game in Indianapolis mm -hmm. and really held warm against that team. How, how important is it that guys have had some time and backup roles in games in the regular season? Yeah, I think it's all about experience. And the more experience you can get when your number's called, you're more prepared. I mean, that's all it is, just being ready for that right time. So still preparing, still getting ready for that right time when my name's called and doing everything I can. Uh, being behind this, this offensive line, and never really knowing when they're going to get the chance to go in. How do you, I guess, stay sharp, stay ready, and keep on knowing that you can actually learn from some of the past time? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just uh, staying prepared, you know. At the end of the day, I want to play football. This is what I love to do. I'm not out here for any other reason because I want to be out here. So um, I want to be the best at everything that I do, and that includes football. So staying ready, trying to prepare every day for when my name is called, I'll be ready. And, I can perform. You feel like you, you feel like you took a step forward in that last preseason game? No doubt. Yeah, I feel like I played pretty well in that last preseason game. Uh, I was happy with my performance. You know, we prepared all week with them. We got after them during the week a little bit as well. So it was a great week for me. When you look at this team and kind of where you guys are as opposed compared to last season, all of the coaches always say that we're ahead of schedule. Do you guys feel that way as an offense, like you guys are in a much better place? How would you categorize where you are? I truly do feel that way, you know, especially Coach Ben Johnson. He's awesome, and uh, he's really taking us to new heights. Uh, our offensive line, I mean, there's no secret about it. We're pretty damn good. So um, even our second offensive line and third, we're, we're so deep. So uh, I think that we're far ahead of where we even should be at this point, and that's a good feeling. Do you guys come out of practice saying, like, we won, defense won? Every day. How, how competitive is it out there? And there's what no doubt about it. I mean, it goes down to everything. You know, you want to beat guys in to get in the hot tub, you know what I mean? So it's competitive about everything. It was pretty, I mean, they came out, they gave us a little bit, but uh, I'd say it was pretty even, even today, no doubt. Jonah, Jonah's good. Good to go. What happened there? There's a lot of reps. He, he's good to go, though, no doubt about it. Coach was talking about just having more padded practices and the starters playing in the third game and just the reps and increasing the workload and the intensity for the regular season hub might help prevent injuries along the way. Do you guys appreciate kind of the way he's approached his second year in? Of course, yeah. You know, Coach Campbell is a former player, a former great player. So he understands where we're coming from. He understands what we need to be ready. And, uh, you know, it's all part of the plan. Going in there and playing a couple, you know, a half or a quarter, whatever it is. Just getting your legs under you, getting ready for the season. It's a long season, y'all know that. So uh, just getting your, your legs wet, you know what I mean? Does that kind of help, you know, I guess, understand his, his decision making when it comes to, hey, guys, we're going to be in practice today, you know? knowing that he's not just doing it without really knowing what it's doing to you. Oh, yeah. There's not a single guy on this team that questions what Coach Campbell's doing. You know I mean? He is the first one to come out and say, hey, we're going to practice today. We're going to go this, this, and that because of this. Always got a reason behind it. Him and Coach Clark, they meet regularly, and they have a great plan for us, and we just follow it. You know, it's all about just trusting that process. So we're definitely following in line. What was your first reaction when he said we're going to practice at 6 at night? I was ready for it. You know, I'm one of those guys I don't care when or where. You know, we'll practice in the parking lot if we need to. So it's, uh, I was cool with it.